Hello students. In this class, we will discuss the remaining part from the chapter on an African safari. Okay. What we learned in our previous class, we have learned about a group of elephant, isn't it? When our narrator, along with Akintala, who was their guide, what they have done? Uh, say some female elephants push the babies back in their trunk and suck at their teeth. They were also they were really frightened, but they were also aware of it that so there are some characteristics of elephants, especially female elephant, is that whenever they don't attack the intruder. Intruder means outside people. When when their calf is to be with them, when their small baby is to be with them, they don't attack the outsiders. Until that much we have discussed, isn't it? And I hope you have revised your chapter very well. We shall go to the last part or last section of the chapter we have to complete. Okay? Let's see what happens here after. At first, it was the final day of our safari. Who suffered? Our neighbor suffered. Who was the narrator? What was the name of the narrator? Priyanka. Is not it? What was she writing? This is a blog post. I woke up at dawn. What does the word dawn mean? Before the sunrise. That is called dawn. To the beautiful sight of a flock of graceful ostriches. Ostriches, not ostriches. Means a group together. See the difference. Ostriches and Ostriches. By spelling also, you should be careful. Ostriches H sound is H, whereas their sound is S. Yes. Ostriches. Got it? So, while pronouncing also, you should be very careful. What is the narrative she, when she got up on the last morning? She saw a group of ostriches. Next thing. I took so my binoculars and saw a herd of rhinos grazing lazily in the morning sun. What did our neighbor see? She saw a group of rhinos. What were the rhinos doing? They were grazing. Where were they grazing? In the open field. Right? The babies kept close to their mothers. Whose babies? The rhinos' babies. I watched in silence until Akinlana called out asking if I wanted to take a dip in the Mara. So she was watching until then who came? Akinlana came. Akinlana came and asked him, asked what? If she would take a dip in the Mara, means that the river if she would take a swim. We spent an hour splashing in the water, having mud fight and playing tug of war. Now, I guess you all know tug of war means pulling from the opposite direction, right? Consider as we are playing in the annual sports day. With a towel. On the way back to the camp, Akilana showed me muddy patch on a tree. That's where the rhino scratches themselves, she told me. What did Akilana show our natural? A muddy patch of tree. The tree was covered with mud. And what did it uh, indicate? It indicated that rhino is to scratch their back on that tree. Okay. I was silent on the drive back to Yar Street. I had fallen in love with Masai Mara. Why was why was our narrator silent on uh, on our drive back to Yar Street? Because she was in love with Masai Mara. I would miss my friend Akinlana. I would miss the sound of the forest and the awesome sunset. My tent and the drive stood up bush that is home to such amazing beautiful animals. So she would miss everything what she saw good in her own eyes. She missed the tent. She would miss the uh, fantastic environment and along with her friend who helped her or who was her to his guide all throughout her days being in Masai Mara while I was in Right? Now I can proudly boast of. Now see, this is the word boast of. B O A S E S. Boast of. What does the word boast of mean? What? When you take pride of something, then you use the word boast of. Okay. What was he boasting of? Of having seen the giraffe, the tallest mammal on the earth. What is the tallest mammal on the earth? What is the, what was the, what is the tallest level on the art? This, 
जीरा व्हाट इज स्पेलिंग ऑफ जीरा जी आई आर ए डबल एम डबल एम ई और डबल ई Use thick, long blue tongue to pick up leaves from the tree and spotted a leopard sitting on a branch waiting for its prey. I can tell my friends that I woke up every morning to see the black bush deer grazing just outside my tent, and that I have actually held a meerkat baby in my hands. I have been lucky indeed to have had this wonderful opportunity. So. During her blog, she wrote the wondrous journey of her visit to Masai Mara. The spelling is what for the meaning of M W A S A R Masai Mara. She had a very beautiful, or she had become a very beautiful atmosphere being in that sanctuary. We are uh, to this day. Akilama to get her all throughout the journey, giving her relevant information. About the animals, because being a native, then uh, Kinnan knows everything about the place, and that's how her traveling vlogs uh, comes to an end here. And I will also stop my class here. But after that, what you are going to do is that uh, today I am going to write the comprehension one. Uh, are the sentence word first, two for two, and uh, false and F. If dog doesn't give information, write and C is not given. And as the animals with their action during the safari, during the safari, what are they? How are the animals uh, behaving? According to that, you will be putting out columns. You will be marking out the columns. Extreme right hand side with the extreme left hand side, you will be marking. You will matching this big number A and big number B is your homework. In the next class, we will discuss big number C and comprehension two. We will discuss with you all. Next, we will be discussing with the group work also. That need to be discussed with you. Okay, thank you for.